Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tara. Hope everybody's well. So, I'm doing a special set this month since January readings are already done and it's not quite cost baby season. However, guess what time it is? We are in the pre shadow of the first Mercury retrograde of 2022. And I love Mer Mercury retrograde, and here's why it is a gift from the universe. I know it doesn't feel like it when your cell phone breaks and you're not receiving emails or text messages. Things may be coming across a little bit wrong. Things are misconstrued. People get a little attitudinal. I know. It doesn't seem like a gift. But the gift here is, are you going to change the way you approach things? I mean, could be your gift. People come back, sometimes just similar situations with certain people that came in and out of your life come back. How are you going to deal with it? All right. So, doing water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio this time around. I'm just going to get right into it. If it's yours, take it. If not, leave it. All right. <laughs> we'll tip the camera down. Wow. Radio static. Radio static. They needed time. They needed time. They're still nursing a broken heart. One of the Queen of Wands. Whoa. <laughs> All of a sudden my phone caught signal. One more on this Queen of Wands. Could have been a fire sign. They needed time. They had a clear vision for what they wanted, but there's fierce independence. They needed time. They had a path to walk. They couldn't take the cup. One of the Empress. 
one on the Empress. They saw the potential for growth, but they just couldn't jump. Something about it they didn't trust. Oh, that's painful. Backstabbing and betrayal. They make a decision with a clear head. They made whatever decision they made with truth and clarity. It was a hard one. They saw the potential, but they chose to end it because they couldn't jump. By the Queen of Pentacles. Even coming into the now, they're, they're still working on them. This can't get started. This can't get started. They're still vulnerable. They're still working on them. Before I address the lesson you're to learn, let's talk about you for a second. Why are you coming up as the hanged man, water signs? Why the hanged man? Why the five of swords? Oh, wow. I don't see that as deceptive behavior. But you want what you want. I feel like some of you may have chalked this up to I'll be back or they'll be back. A little more on that Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, protecting what's yours? Tower. Four of Wands. This isn't permanent. This isn't permanent. They'll be back. We can rebuild this. We can start over. I don't know, man. I don't know, brah. Justice, you want to make it right. You want to make it right. Why temperance? Why temperance? I mean, if they have a lack of trust issue and they feel stabbed in the back or betrayed, there could have been some de deceptive behavior going on or what they perceived to be deceptive. Empress. Oh, wow. You want things to flow.
Grow and flow. Oh, where'd you go? It kind of barrel rolled down my leg. That was pretty funny. Two of cups. You want, you want this back together? They got two queens. You see, you see them as all four. You want this back together. You want this to grow, and they want it too. But I think too much has happened. Why the world? King of Wands. Five of Wands. In the reverse, one more. You want a new beginning, you want to move forward, you want an end to conflict, you manifest. You want to manifest new, you want to start over. They just can't. You want to put work into it. All right, why the Eight of Swords? cups they are so anxious as to whether you're going to take the cup or not you are so anxious as to whether they're going to take their cup or if they've already moved on You want happiness with them. They're still working on them. They may want things to be cordial. As for getting something started, I don't know. They're still very vulnerable. All right, what's the Six of Cups doing down here for what the water signs are supposed to take out of this? Why the Six of Cups? Hanged man. Don't hang up on the past. Don't hang up on the past. Don't leave yourself in the gallows. Let nostalgia be nostalgia. Take the good memories with you. One more. Accept the fate of the situation. King of Swords. Make a logical, non-emotional decision. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You have to move forward out of the energy of the past. Put that down there. Why the Four of Cups for the lesson they may be supposed to learn? I just realized I didn't pull a Moonology or a Wisdom. What the heck? Because I'm doing this a little backwards anyway. Page of Cups. Page of Swords. Okay. I am tracking. You have to be ready to give before you can receive. Ace of Swords. 
painful cycles have to end before any new cycles can begin, and I don't think it's quite ended for them. They're still processing. For whatever reason, some stuff went down. When you ride it in, you gotta ride in with truth. There's that Ace of Swords. Before you can start over, something has to end. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's pull a Wisdom Oracle. <laughs> Hi, Between Worlds, and Moonology. Surrender to the Divine, Full Moon. Okay. Let's read Between Worlds. Number three. Okay, that's funny. Hold on, I gotta let that do its thing. Sorry about that. I am having drainage issues. Transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There's a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves a web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you're between worlds, you're invited to see with curious eyes the child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. Wow. Wow. I think you all are kind of between worlds here, aren't you? Surrender to the Divine, Full Moon. The very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind, agreed? But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change, and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface, no matter when the moon cycle you've pulled this card. Matters will soon conclude, and you'll find out whatever... or not your wishes are going... Find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor this, as this is a positive card, but you need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. Interesting water signs. Okay, guys. I'm going to do another one of these next week. Might do an all signs. Might break it down by the elements again. I don't know. But I'm having fun with this. I'm going to 
enjoy retrograde this year thoroughly, but I want you guys to try to enjoy it too. So be blessed, peace, love, and light, and I will catch you guys next time.